Hi, this is Jennifer at Software Analysis. I'm going to show you one of the great features in Cosmolux. Cosmolux has programmable workflows which allow you to create reusable task lists and reminders to ensure that nobody misses a step or a deadline. Let's go ahead and create a simple workflow to track a hearing date. To access the workflow area, click on Setup, List Items, and Workflow. To add a workflow, simply click Add, and we will call this Hearing Date. You can add a description here if you choose to. And since everything on a hearing date is basically going to be based off that hearing date, we will add that as our first task. We will make that due in the zero days after the workflow begin date, and we'll make that a high priority so we don't miss our day. Next would be our response to the motion is due perhaps, and we'll make that due 21 days before the hearing date. After that, we may want to check for replies, and we'll make that due 14 days before the hearing date. And then we want to send courtesy copies to the judge, and we'll make that one day before the hearing date. And if you want to add any additional information on any of these, you can edit the descriptions here and add additional information. But then we'll go ahead and click Save. Now if I want to add this to a matter, we we'll go to Matters, choose one, and go to the Matter Details. You click on Task, and once you click Add, you can see it gives you the option of adding a single task or a task using a workflow. We want to use a workflow, and we want to set the workflow begin date to actually be our hearing date. So let's just make that the 30th, and we want to use the hearing date workflow. So now you can see that the hearing date is a high priority, and it's due on the hearing date, and everything else that we set up is due in the proper order to make sure everything gets done and nothing gets forgotten. You can also edit these if you want to change who they're assigned to. Perhaps you want to assign it to a different attorney. You can assign it here if you have others. You can also make this a billable activity, which is really great because once it's completed, let's save that. Let's make this a billable activity. And let's call it done. So now, when you go back to your dashboard, you can see here's the response we just did. It's under your money finder to remind you that you need to enter a task. And it shows up here in your unbilled tasks so you never forget to bill your time. That's all for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And as always, if you'd like more information, please check us out at www.sachicago.com and use the contact link to reach out to us. Thank you for watching.